Let's give a warm welcome to Kyle Wazaleski. Hi everyone, hi everyone, thank you for coming, thank you for coming. Hi, my name is Kyle Wazaleski, and I'm going to show you how to tie a tie. Have you ever thought to yourself, how can I look good? How can I look professional? How can I get the ladies to notice me? Well, I'm going to give you one simple answer, and that is a tie. This tie I have right here is a very simple tie, black, slim, but it's the most best looking one you can ever buy. But let me tell you how they actually came about. Um, in 550 BC, before Christ, the Chinese emperor, the first Chinese emperor actually, upon his death said he wants to be surrounded by a clay army. I have a couple pictures. I'm going to show you what they look like. Now, this is, a, like I said, a clay army. They may look real, but they're not. Now, might I add that it is said that each one is actually looks different in the face. Here's another one. But there's one similarity between each of them, and that is a necktie. And here's a picture just to show you what the actual necktie looks like. Right, You can see it right there. The reason for this is that the Chinese emperor actually thought that the necktie symbolizes royalty and power. Now, you're probably thinking, what does it matter to me? You know, that was 2,000-something years ago. Well, let me tell you something. I looked up um, on Google, businessmen, and these are three pictures I found. First three pictures. Here's the first one. Look at that. He's a tie-on. The second one you might not be able to see well, but he is, in fact, wearing a tie. And the third one, just to prove my point, what a shocker, he's wearing a tie. Now you're like, okay, you made a point, you made a point, you go to businessmen and you, they wear ties. But how's it going to get me to look good? I'll tell you how it's going to make you look good. Have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother? I'm sure all of you have. Well, here's Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. His main thing is suit up. What does he always wear? A tie. Here's another picture, and all you ladies, I know you like them, Channing Tatum. And look at what he's wearing. A tie. And finally, just for fun, another guy. He's wearing a tie. Would you look at that? Now, guys are like, okay, I get it, I get it. We're going to look good. We need to look professional. We'll all get ties. Woohoo. But now you ladies are like, well, what do we care? I'll tell you what you care. They're not just for men, surprisingly enough. Adam, Adam Avern Levine. She actually, I found three pictures, different ties, different outfits. Here's one tie. She's wearing a tie. Second one. Look at that. Her again. Different tie. Wearing a tie. And picture number three. Here she is again. Wearing a tie. So now all your girls are like, I know what you're being like. You're like, okay, we get it. We're going to go buy ties. We're all going to buy ties. But Kyle, I don't understand. We just don't know how to tie them. You didn't tell us how to tie them. Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, girls, you don't have to worry about this step because you can wear whatever you want with a tie. But guys, you don't want to just go out a shirt like this and wear a tie. You want to get a nice first white shirt. So, I'm going to put your white shirt on. You want to button it up for time's sake. I'm only going to button the first couple. Now, one thing you always want to make sure, you want to unbutton. Some shirts have these little buttons here. You want to unbutton them. Just so you can get your tie in, pop your collar. Now, you want to make sure that whenever you button your tie, you have to button the top button. That is very important. It makes it look professional. It makes you look clean cut. Like I said, for girls, it doesn't really matter. Now, get your tie. You want to make sure the short end here is shorter. Not the short end, sorry. The skinny end is shorter. Now. When you're looking at your tie, you have a smooth face, and then you have one with the stitching. Make sure on both ends, the stitching is on the inside. Now, to tie a tie is very simple. Make sure your collar is popped, guys. Now, what you want to do is you want to throw the tie over your shoulder and tuck it under. Now, you want to bring it through that hole you just made. Pull it all the way through. Now... What you want to do is you want to do kind of the same thing, but instead you want to pull it from underneath and bring it back under. Now the final step is you're going to bring it back over, throw it on your shoulder, bring it around and through that hole again. Now tie a tie. Nah, I'm just kidding. You have one more step. Right here 
is a little hole you just made. You want to grab the big end and tuck it through that hole. Now, before, you're, before you tie it tight, you want to make sure that that back part is all facing you. Then you want to just pull it nice and tight. Grab the little end. Now, a little end will slip right up. Make sure you nice and nice and snug. Now, underneath most ties, you'll see this little hole here. What you want to do is grab a little part, tuck that into the hole. Now, what you want to do with your collar, you want to make sure the entire thing is covered except for the knot. Now, like I said in the beginning, I unbuttoned them, but now I'm going to rebutton. There's little buttons here. Some don't have them, but most do. You want to button those up. And lastly, to make it look good, your suit jacket. You want to just throw that on. Go. And now button only the top button. Now look how much more professional I look, and I'm ready to get the ladies. If you have any questions, let me know, and have a great day.